So I thought to myself, for recon, who do I know that spends a lot of time on the road, that no bars, no good food? So I got Ryan Reeves, Nate Smith, two of my favorite hockey players in the world. These guys tour major cities, mm -hmm. go to the best venues. They're always treated incredibly well. They're VIPs. And Ryan is even a part owner in 7-5 Brewing Company, so he really knows his stuff. Here's some of our cocktails we have here. Thanks. All right. I'm going to get out of my comfort zone here. <laughs> Me too. I'm in. I think I'm in it, too. I mean, I'll try this huckleberry limeade. Huckleberry limeade? Yeah. And I think is, I'm gonna... is it good? It's good. You wouldn't yeah. lie to me, would you? I wouldn't yeah. lie to you. Okay. All right. I think I'm I'll take you. a kiss me then. And a kiss me. <laughs> That's definitely outside my comfort zone. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'll see you when I get out of here, I guess. So there's Brandon. He appears to be in some kind of crisis management, doesn't he? <laughs> what could possibly be going on with six customers or so in this bar? Uh that would have him in the office at that time doing that. A real owner is going to be out there talking to their guests, talking to their people. He can go talk to Ryan and Nate, make them feel welcome in, inside the bar. That's all they're really looking for. What's this? That's me? Oh, that's sweet. Oh, that's sweet. It's like, like sugar cubes. Like a fun dip? Yeah. <laughs> What's in that? Whipped cream. Oh, okay. oh yeah. There's whipped cream in that? Yeah, there's oh, whipped cream. Oh, I can't wait to see uh, this. Do we not have any whipped cream? No, we don't, we don't have any. No whipped cream. Why would they be out of whipped cream in a can? You put a can in the fridge, it stays there for months. Right. It's not like they have to buy it every week or rotate it. You'd think if they have a drink with whipped cream, that would be one product that they would have plenty of in the fridge. Exactly. Try that. All if you right. don't like it, let me know. Imagine it with the whipped cream. Yeah. Ah, imagine it with it. Oh, boy. Um, Not bad? Uh, is there a margarita on the t on the possibility? You want a margarita? Yeah. yeah. Can I actually do a margarita, too? Yeah, two margaritas? Yeah, yeah. Thank, you. thank you. Maybe that's where the time for two comes from. The first drink sucks, mm. so it's time for two. It's time for two. <laughs> OK, what kind of mixer is that? So is that a plastic cup? They don't even have proper tools back there. That's an old-style martini cup. Has a strainer built into the lid. Look at how little it filled the glass. Oh, and then she's adding ice after. How's that working out, Phil? It's horrible. Now she's adding more mix because she has to fill it up. By not measuring properly, there's no way this is going to be a balanced cocktail. We do uh, order the wings, the tenders, and the wedges. What's the point of shaking it if you're going to pour more mix in when you're done? <laughs> What's the point? Cheers, big fella. Cheers. It's pretty sweet. Sweet. I like mine kind of spicy. And there is a very small, almost residential deep fryer. Right, something that you can have in your own kitchen at home. But a deep fryer like that, you put more than six or seven wings in that thing, the temperature drops right away. Right. You can't cook in a commercial environment with that thing, Phil. No way. You see any gloves anywhere? I see zero gloves. I was just about to say that. So is a bartender trained in kitchen sanitation? Come on. This is a completely different discipline. Bartenders make drinks. Sure. Kitchen personnel are trained to run a kitchen. Do you think that she has any idea how to work in a kitchen? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. And where the hell is Brandon in all of this? It looks like he's still screwing around in his office. I mean, that's just absolutely insane. Yeah. Are your wings? I'm going to dive into this little guy right here. Look at his face. <laughs> super, super, super. Phil, the food is absolutely terrible. There's not enough customers in here. Right. We're not going to learn much about the bartenders watching this. What about if you go in? I want to see if the bartenders react to you well. Right? Can yeah. you make it for you? We'll at least know where they stand, and then we can deal with it then. Let me go see what these guys are working with in there, John. Great. All Let's right. give it to them, buddy. All right. How you doing? Oh, yeah. Bizarre, oh, right? Oh, What's up? I'm Phil. <laughs> I'm good. How, How you doing? doing? What's your name? Anthony. Anthony. Yes. <laughs> What's your name? Amanda. Amanda. Nice to meet you. My two friends right here, they have margaritas. Yes. I want to see how you guys make those margaritas. Okay. okay. Because I do know that Trina made them wrong. 
So okay. I want to see how you guys make them. We have margarita glasses. What's the size of those margarita glasses? Do we know? I don't, I don't know the size no? of those. Okay. No. We don't have free pour, so it's kind of, it's, I've never been trained on it. Let's make this margarita. Okay. Let's taste it. One, two, three. Now Holy making shit, both of that's them a lot of juice. I'm making them. Let's pour that drink. What are we doing? Oh. Well, this takes forever. What is this? Whoa, OK. We always use the ice Go ahead. we have. Go ahead, do your thing. So. so you made two drinks in one, right? You will. I tried to. I can't watch this anymore. Oh, Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.